All right, guys, welcome back. This is part two of the Eternals video. Again, reminder, movie spoilers inside. Thanks for checking out part one. Thanks for checking out part two. Thanks for checking out the channel. Let's get into it. On. Let me get her on camera. Um, I've done all females. Let's get a dude in here, right? Let's get Fastus. So Fastus, I want to say Fastus. I, I know it's spelled like Fastos, and I'm trying to pronounce it the way they pronounce it, which I think was Fastus. So... Uh, played by, uh, that guy, forgot his name, Brian Tyree Henry, that's who it was, right? We've seen him in Atlanta, if you haven't seen Atlanta, fantastic show, uh, why can't I think, Donald Glover, there we go, hilarious, season three coming soon after, God, I don't know how many years, uh, that's due for a rewatch, but he is, I guess, the Marvel Cinematic Universe's first gay hero, um, you know, it doesn't move the story in any other direction. Basically, what it comes down to is this man, this Eternal, rather, uh, helps move humanity along by giving them tools and just kind of nudging them in a way to expand their technology. So, you know, better ways to farm, and then they can build off of that. However, he is let down by humanity at the point of when the U.S. dropped the atomic bomb uh, on... the Japanese. So he loses faith in humanity when they drop the atomic bomb on the Japanese in Hiroshima. Ugly part of uh, not just American history, but our history. Uh, and you can't blame the man. You know, he just, he knew humans, and a lot of us don't, deserve, uh, you know, to be looked upon with, with good eyes or, you know, kind eyes or anything like that. Uh, so he loses his faith. Eventually, at some point, he finds love in uh, a gentleman and they, uh, you know, have a, a little boy and, and just he lives a normal life. And that's what brings him back into loving humanity again or understanding that, you know, humans deserve a chance to live. So uh, he's, he's on board in stopping the birth of, of Tiamat, the celestial in the planet. Uh, yeah, awesome looking figure. He does come with alternate hands, of course, fisted hands. Uh, I thought he held his own. So Marvel came out with these promo shots of like splitting the guys off. I was like the fighters and the thinkers. Uh, a lot of the thinkers held their own fighting Icarus at the end of the film. Him being one of them. So he uses his technology. So you can pose him in cool ways with like his hands together. Kind of devising some new type of tech. Uh, he had these cool mechanical like rings and stuff like that. Uh, he, he was awesome. I really liked his, his, uh, character. So paint for the most part looks pretty well. He does look a little bored, but you know, honestly, that's the way the guy looks sometimes. It's funny. Uh, kind of a sarcastic like character. You know, if you've seen the trailer, uh, I do have some skin, some brown bleeding through the hair there, which is interesting. Uh, hopefully yours isn't like that. He does come with the barbell in the neck type of thing. Um, he does feel a little thick, thicker than he needs to be. Uh, similar to the females, they have this plastic draping over. However, let me squish. You could see this makes him look a little chubby more than he needs to be and more than he probably actually is. Doesn't look too bad. It's not like it's a pregnant, you know, woman in a muumuu or something. Again, no line, no colored line work there, but we do see it here. Nice. You know, this is the theme throughout. Even the Lego figures, the minifigures and the ships and stuff. Like a lot of circles, a lot of intersecting circles. You could see it here on his biceps as well. This is a nice purple looking good standard male articulation with the exception of i'm sure there's an ab crunch under there we just can't get to it so any bends you have will be at this diaphragm which looks like it's you know rotating around this little this rounded piece here due to the skin legs are restricted going that way and they're restricted going forward you can see this doesn't really bend too naturally obviously it's not cloth but it's also not a pliable enough material to get some dynamic poses out of this guy who again doesn't necessarily need to be so athletic um yeah so biceps double jointed elbows again pinless 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 knees all that stuff same work we've seen here every figure does have fantastic ankle pivot looking good awesome i like this character i like this dude's uh tech he was one of the three Eternals at the end of the film who are to be judged by Erishim. So basically Erishim came back to Earth wondering what the heck, you know, uh, and he took 
Cersei, he took Kingo, and he took Fastus because Makari Druig and Cersei, no, excuse me, Makari Druig and Thena are off in the ship looking for, I forget what, other Eternals. Uh, Gilgamesh had passed away, Ajax had passed away, and Icarus had passed away. So there to be judged, Ereshon basically is going to go through their memories to see if humanity and Earth is deemed worthy enough to survive. If it isn't, then he's just going to destroy them anyways. Uh, hopefully, I mean, this dude's memories are like Hiroshima. You know, that's pretty bad. But Cersei does have some lovely memories growing up, and Kingo has some memories. However, I don't think Kingo uh, looks upon... I think he likes to be worshipped and, and, and loved. So uh, that's not necessarily the best. I know there's some religions who don't like you to have any idols and stuff like that. So... I don't know. We'll see. I doubt I doubt Earth is destroyed because that would be the end of the movies. But yeah. Fantastic. All right, let me move on. I feel like I'm taking too long. Uh, we'll put him back here. Let's talk about Druig. Is Makari going to fall over? I think she might. I might be cheating, leaning her on stuff. So Druig uh, can mind control. So, you know, if he wanted to, he mentions it in the film too. He can stop wars from happening. He could basically control all the humans. Tell them to drop their weapons, drop their arms, and just live with each other. He's, he he does stop conflict. Druig here does have one of the most badass designs on his outfit. Uh, this looks cool. I'm, I mean, I'm partial to black and red, red and white. I guess I like red, you know, as much as I like blue, but this looks nice. Um, I don't know if this was on purpose, so we do get a shiny type of plastic on top, and then the skirt-like piece is kind of a, a matte black finish, but... This line work is insane. Look at that. Just line work, line work, line work. Looking awesome. Especially on the shiny parts. I think that's where it looks best. Uh, I'd have to go back and see in the film if, if it is a different shade. It probably isn't. But again, this is another figure with hindered leg articulation. But he isn't necessarily a fighter. Again, he uses mind control. He does come with alternate hands, which are these fisted hands. Kind of pasty skin. Barry Keegan. Keegan? Keoghan? Let me know if I said that right. Uh, but yeah, they did, for the most part, capture his likeness pretty well. I think his hair could be a little bit more poofier. Kind of combed the same way, just a little thicker, more volume. Uh, but it's fine. You know, I'm just complaining. I'm not too attached to this actor. I know much of his work the way I am with Kumail Nanjiani, who I do wish they did give his hair a little bit more volume and some blacker eyebrows. I may paint those eyebrows. We'll see. But he's pretty cool. Uh, he's one of the ones I do see. I mean, my target apparently got boxes of this guy. He's one of the ones I do see on the shelves, but he looks awesome. Look at that design on the shoulder. That is cool. And like Icarus, the paintwork stops, uh, up there. So, you know, these should be painted red, but due to, you know, budget restraints, it is what it is. It is the back of the figure again, so whatever. Standard male, Marvel Legend articulation, but these, uh, shoulder pads do... So you can see when I moved his bicep, his bicep looks pretty big and it's kind of shaped weird. And I can't even get the arm up. There we go. So it's it's sliding up, but then when you do that, so you're just warping it in all kinds of ways. Going up there, going up there. If you leave it like that, eventually it'll probably stay that way. So I know in the film he had his hands behind his back. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. He's on the side of helping the Eternals, and it seems at the end of the film he has a romantic relationship with Makari back there, who is the deaf super speedster superhero of the film. Moving on to Makari, which I think uh, this is fantastic, given that the character, the actor, and and the character by extension is a deaf figure. She does come with an "I love you" sign from American Sign Language. That's adorable. That's awesome. She does come with some uh, extra hands, which are her fisted hands. So you can have her running around doing stuff. Her, her, she definitely held her own in, in the fight against Icarus at the end of the film. I mean, she was, she, you know, anything they've done. I mean, the Fox Quicksilver scenes were pretty cool, but this, this was pretty cool. This was just showing her super speed to just like get some punches in there, basically fighting a Superman-like character back there. Uh, and I thought it was awesome. The actress can also be seen on uh, The Walking Dead. I don't know if that's on the air anymore, but I know she was from Walking Dead as well. Uh, this is awesome. The only thing is, I don't think the hair matches. So let me put her here. 
we'll get right here uh, a still of the character in the movie. I don't think this hair matches that. Um, I think they went ahead and changed that. So this is obviously based off the concept art. Uh, another female figure with fantastic line work and sculpt work on the arms. However, no bicep cut because that would probably break the sculpt. And they just weren't doing that when they developed these figures yet. So another character with this skin draped over. However, it stops above the hips. So you do get your cool leg articulation. What you're going to need um, to get her in cool running poses. <clears throat> excuse me. This is windswept in the same direction as uh, Sprite and Cersei's hair. Looking good. Again, standard female articulation from the top to the bottom. I appreciate her face. Looks awesome. Very happy character. You can see some freckles there. She's been living on the Domo, which is the eternal ship. She seems to be kind of a hoarder or a collector of different artifacts throughout uh, history, including PSVR. Uh, Excalibur, the sword, that's right. And um, various things, you know, various things. Emerald tablet, all that stuff. She does have a deep cut, so you can see she does go past 45, similar to Sprite, so. And again, similar to Black Series figures. That's awesome. I like that. These deeper cuts need to happen. If you're not going to give them this, the, the double-jointed elbows, then do that. Well, you do get your rotation there. Do all of them have that rotation? They probably do. Awesome. So I do like the I love you sign. I might keep her like that. Uh, if and when I ever get an eternal display shelf. I don't know if I will. Finally, not finally, there's still a few more. Uh, we'll go to Kingo, Kumail Nanjiani, a fan favorite in the film. Look at the expression. That's just kind of how he is. I think, again, these eyebrows are too light. I think they need to, They should be black to match his hair. Um, you can see kind of just the way it prints off there. Kingo and Sprite, for whatever reason, are the harder two to find on shelves. Online, I don't think you're going to have too much trouble. I did get my two online uh, through Target. So, like, store pickup. But I've never seen these guys on the shelves. And I know a few people have. They've seen them at Walmart. And... Yeah, so he is one of the few Eternals that comes with some effects. So his hands, you could see, come with these blast effects. He does mention in interviews, he was talking about how he has these finger guns. So he can do that. And he also does this crazy, like, Kamehameha-like type of fireball. So that would have been cool to get uh, one more set of hands for, like, Hadouken, Kamehameha. So there you go. Finger guns. He does have that goofy smirk. He is a big uh, Bollywood actor in the movie who uh, comes from a dynasty, which explains why this same, this, this actor has been around for so many years. Um, it's because it was his great grandfather, his grandfather, and then his father have that dynasty, you know, of acting in Bollywood films. So ridiculous and very, uh, very thin excuse as to why. He's gone on, but it doesn't seem like anyone cares. This is awesome. This purple is nice, man. I like this purple. And again, he has that type of plastic skin draped over the lower half of the body, thus killing any ab articulation if it was there at all. It may have not been, you know. I, 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 I'd be interested. I wouldn't want to cut one open. I'm sure someone else has. But because I think these legs are cool. Does he share legs? No, these are different than the legs. Oh, look, there's that swirly type of stuff I was telling you about. Uh, I was going to see if his legs were similar to that of Icarus. I mean, they are in, in, in design kind of, like how thick they are. Like giant booted feet. But yeah, your legs will be hindered again. But he's more of, a, again, finger blast and Kamehameha, like fireballs, kind of like Shang-Chi. But look at that. Golds, blacks, the purples. The purple is really nice. Fastest is purple. is a little too light for me, but this looks really good. Again, no detail in the line work there, but the sculpted detail is there, which is fantastic. Again, and your figure may get some swirls, depending on where the mold happened. I got some there on the bicep as well. There on this bicep as well. Oh, man, it's all over the place there. Yeah, I think uh, I'm going to get picture of the sh figure it's obviously apples to oranges more expensive but it is probably tinier <clears throat> excuse me but i think they got the likeness a little better than hasbro but this is still pretty good we know who it is by looking at it the profile especially i think it's awesome 
So when we cast these comedic actors, we, as if I work for Marvel Studios, but when they're casting these comedic actors, they seem to go with a more lighthearted, friendly, goofy type of thing. So like Paul Rudd's goofy smirk in his Ant-Man figure, and now Kamal Nanjiani with his, his funny little smirk as well. Again, he uh, follows Icarus, who strongly believes that the Celestial should be born. So because Icarus is going to go off and make sure this happens, he decides to just stay out of it completely. His love for his eternal family keeps him, he's, he's not going to fight them, basically. It comes down to it. Like, you know, I, I'm not going to fight for that, for that against you guys because I believe one way. So I'm just going to leave. So basically, he wasn't going to help them. He wasn't going to help Icarus. So uh, again, kind of chicken shit, but whatever. He is still a likable character, with especially with his uh, assistant, Karun Patel. Patel. Um, that's his personal valet. I said assistant, but it's his personal valet who Gilgamesh then jokes like Alfred in Batman, which was interesting because there's two DC uh, drops, name drops, Batman and Superman. In uh, You've seen one in the trailer, the Superman one, and then this Batman reference. So because they are, you know, they probably influence the DC universe, believe it or not, the Eternals, the way Greek gods in our world and other god-like characters have influenced a lot of superheroes in in the real world as well. So it's kind of a, it's, it's a cool joke and maybe a little poke and a little uh, nudge and a little wink to DC being like, ha, huh, your characters were inspired by the Eternals in at least that Marvel Cinematic Universe. So yeah, fantastic figure. Probably the most recognizable uh, behind Angelina and uh, uh, Selma Hayek, but awesome. Highly recommend this figure. If you're going to get a few, this would be one of them. Let me stand him. Finally, finally, finally. Not finally. Uh, I think Icarus here is my favorite of the Eternals. I think he looks awesome. His presence looks rad. These fisted hands, although they may be it's slightly too big. Maybe not. I think they look badass and i think the pose they have him in here is badass his hair is also windswept going in the same direction as everybody else i would have liked his hair to have been combed and i would have liked to have seen more emphasis on the little white stripe he has in his hair it's a little just kind of messy there but you can blame that on you know the wind uh this blue is fantastic i love the blue here the golds pop nicely on this this feels solid man this feels like such a good figure and on this piece is this like another skirt like piece i guess so Trying to squeeze, but you know, the articulation otherwise, fine. Standard male articulation, you get your double joint elbows, bicep, thigh cut, all that stuff. This looks awesome. Uh, you know what's interesting here? There's a cut here. Like, so like this is I can't tell if this is just a sculpted line or if this was a separate piece. These boots were a separate piece. Um yeah, so he does come with, he's one of the few characters that comes with alternate uh portraits so he does come with these alternate hands and he does come with this alternate portrait which you know if you've seen any of the trailers if you haven't seen the movie or if you've seen the movie itself see that type of dumbbell uh he does blast lasers out of his eyes and i think this looks cool man this looks awesome i know dc uh whoever does some dc toys have done that with dark side with these lasers or even NECA has with their S superman and their boys uh homelander but this looks cool, powering up, similar to Cyclops from the Retro Wave a couple years back. Uh, I, I think this looks uh, this looks rad. Um, you know, I'd, I'd rather have that than like kind of a halfway laser. Uh, just leave it up to your imagination, especially if you're letting your kids play with these or you're getting these for your kids who still play with action figures. But again, the line work doesn't come all the way down. But man, this is a nice looking blue. And I like this uh, violet type of color for these boots looking awesome i do hope we see more of him however because of what he did you know he loves cersei uh they're not together they did get married at some point but he loved her and they were uh together for a very long time and then he had to go uh so he ends up killing ajak in uh that's in the beginning of the film but we don't see that we see that in the flashback later on but he's going on a mission gathering the eternals with sprite and if, uh, cersei as if nothing is wrong and as if he agrees with uh, their plan of maybe stopping the emergence of Tiamat, the Celestial, being born from the planet. Eventually, he breaks down. I think the guilt, the weight uh, comes over him. And, you know, uh, he they stop him and it happens. And what does he do? Because of his guilt. I mean, even when he killed Ajax, I mean, he's yelling because he just did not want to do this. Um, but it was his job. He's just kind of that Boy Scoutish type of character. 
it is my duty. Uh, and, you know, he doesn't see it through. He fails, basically. He's stopped and he flies into the sun, almost similar to the story of Icarus, who flew too close to the sun. However, that was a cocky character with wax wings who ended up melting and drowning in the ocean at some point. Um, so he may come back. He may not come back, given that, again, Celestials are manufactured. Uh, it'd be interesting if Aramish does bring him back. And then this version they're able to convince because I think... I could be wrong. I know Cersei at some point joins the Avengers, but he even jokes about leading the Avengers. And I'm not saying, you know, go that far, but, you know, it'd be cool to have a Superman-like character in the Avengers. Uh, maybe it won't be him, you know. Maybe they'll bring another character into the Semitic universe. But he's cool, man. I like this figure a lot. It has shelf presence. It looks badass just standing there. Another character who's super strong, Gilgamesh, your Build-A-Figure in the Wave. Uh, various characters, again, with the exception of Icarus, and she's not part of the line, but everybody else has parts to build Gil Gilgamesh, who is, I believe, like, just the oldest superhero in, in just, like, mythos, like, in the world, right? So, super strength. We see this dude just, just you know, using his hands and just punching these 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 deviants out. But he looks cool. Um, I forget the actor. Let me quickly do that. Don Lee, that's the actor's the little the little edit there. Uh, and this looks like him, man. This looks good. He seemed like such a lovable character. In the movie, you know, he's a chef. He's taking care of Thena, who uh, Angelina Jolie's character there, who comes down with Mad Weary. Basically, for whatever reason, you know, I mean, these Celestials have destroyed other planets or have helped with the emergence of other, sorry, these Eternals, uh, with other Celestials. So they've done it before. However, Cersei has memories of doing that. And given that she's 7,000 years old now, she's run out of memory, basically. Like, she has so many memories, especially of that past life, that she comes down with what they call Mad Weary. And it's basically, she goes, she goes insane. She goes mad because of how much memory she has in her brain, which, hey, that makes me wonder, you know, if, if we were immortal, would something, would we go insane with, I figured we would just forget stuff. And then that's, I mean, I forget stuff now and I feel like that's how I make room for new memories, right? Just by forgetting things, uh, things that aren't important or, or, or stuff like that, but whatever. He vows to take care of her and him and her go off and live somewhere, uh, I forget where, very desolate area, but he's a chef. He cooks, he cooks for his family. And uh, it seems like they had a good time when they reunited there, although not all the Eternals are there. Uh, he, this dude looks, look at him, man, he, you know, for this guy being, like, the Superman-like character, look how big he is. I mean, Superman isn't necessarily, like, you know, there's buffer characters in the DC Universe. But here, I think they did a good job capturing his physique, showing how just how strong he is. He looks uh, fantastic. Nice greens, nice bronze. Uh, nice line work as well. Look at that. That just seems weird. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Like, if that should be a solid color, maybe that should be green around, along those lines. There we go. Looking good. Again, standard male articulation. He is a builder figure. However, he does come with alternate hands. He comes with these gripping hands. Um, I don't know what you would use. You know, there's no weapons and he does get fisted hands. I would have liked to see some type of effect that goes over his fist to kind of like show a big energy fist. But this looks good. Awesome, man. Awesome. Awesome representation in this film. And it matters. I know some people don't think it matters. Uh, I think I think it does, you know. Uh, my representation is Luis in Ant-Man. So, you know, hopefully we get some uh, Robbie Rays or something else soon. Uh, but there it is. The Eternals. I'm off. Uh... There we go. Thank you for sticking with that and that kind of rant, kind of recapping the movie. Honestly, I barely remember it. I saw it opening weekend. Um, so I did my best, you know, I remember what I did and if I did anything or said anything wrong, of course, always, I'm always down for your knowledge. Drop that in the comments. Yeah, you know, a good looking wave, but not everybody's favorite. Um, it's probably, again, I know there's a few, there's a small few, I mean, that's my hope for humanity. There's a small few of people who don't like this because of how diverse this cast is. But I'm hoping a lot of you are just like, I don't know who these guys are, period. You know, comics are not comics. And so you don't want to drop money on stuff you don't know. You know, everybody knows Cap, Iron Man, all that stuff. I think it's nice to have some characters we don't really know, especially celebrating the work and career of Jack Kirby. Uh, his stuff is out there, man. But 
uh, I think I think this is a good looking bunch of action figures, unique, and it'd be nice, you know, if we get a Star Fox slash Eros figure with Pip the Troll, who was seen at the end of the film, uh, figure. So that'd be interesting, you know. Especially, I think I think that character will be seen maybe in like Guardians Three, maybe Thor: Love and Thunder. I think we're gonna be seeing him similar to we did, uh, similar to how Fury popped up here and there. So it would be nice if we got a figure before he has a major role, because that probably won't come for many, many years. Uh, maybe even Eternals too. So if we get an Eros figure who's played by Harry Styles, um, I'm not a pop guy. I'm more of a rock guy. So, I mean, I don't care about his music work, but he seems like a likable dude and his work in Dunkirk was uh, pretty good. So let me know what you think. I actually don't. You know, I did this again for me. I don't need some negative comments in the comments. Um, but if you're a fan, cool. I'm happy, you know, I'm happy there's other dudes out there who are open-minded enough to to give this movie a chance and give these figures a chance because I think Hasbro did a very good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me take the time to ask you, if you have not, to please subscribe to this channel. I appreciate it, you, your views, your likes, and if you are subscribed, to hit that notification bell. Follow me on Instagram where I do showcase showcases of action figures. Um, not necessarily figure photography, but just kind of showcase what's what these figures are and what they have to offer and then ask you to go watch the video. So thank you so much.